Okay, I got it started. But what was happened is I was pushing down on that and tightening it up, and I couldn't let go to start the camera back up. So, but I did. It's on there, and and I did make a few extra, extra turns, just to tighten that up. And uh, you really don't want to be beating on these lines too much uh, because of that pop metal fuel pump. Okay, now on this one up here, I'm gonna push up on that and tighten up on this one. So, I, and, and, what, and, and that's another thing that I did there to get this to go is I loosened, I loosened this other end almost to like it had two threads. It had two threads up. Okay. Okay, now that's, I held that up and tightened this all, almost all the way up. So, holding down towards the bottom, that's pretty tight. That's really tight. That's good. Okay, we, I don't think we'll have no trouble with a leak or nothing right there. Okay, now this one down here is another one where that you use that you use that two wrench method, holding this one and tight that other one. That's kind of important that you do that. And I, and I, th I feel that the case will be the same, no leaks. So now, well, we've got a, uh, and the patina, the patina matches, you know, clean it up as you go. If you got something, there's a piece of that thread tape, get that off of there. You, you don't want nobody to know what you used. You don't want nobody to know that you have worked on the engine is 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 the key to it. Just like right there. See that thread tape right there? That's a sure giveaway. So so you want to remove that. If some if somebody can tell that you worked on an engine, you probably didn't do a good job. You know, I'm just saying. Get that off of there. I mean, it's a little trivial stuff like this right here that that makes the engine start up that first time out there. You know, turn that flywheel and she's off and a going. So we got them on there, and and you know, I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to show I'm not going to show you this other one. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. I'll put this line right here. I'm going to take it off. See, this is right here. I'm going to put this on there, and all I'm going to do is screw this in that fitting down there. And then, and what I'll do, I'll put a new ferrule right here, and I and I'll hold that to the grindstone over there. This old ferrule, just hold that up there close enough with a delicate touch, and just grind through that ferrule. See, it's loose. It'll make a circle around there almost. It, uh, but I want that gone, and then I can deal with putting a new ferrule on there, both ends. I'll do that. It's worth time doing it. But this is that's a real nice. That's a real nice fuel return line right there. That's about as good as you find nowadays. You know, that's a nice one. Okay, let's go over to the workbench. And let's see. We, we've still got to adjust the exhaust valve and the the we're going to put the magneto on it, the EK. We'll probably do that next. I'll show you something on the workbench over there. Let's go to the workbench. As as I was rummaging around to find that fuel line, there it is. The um, I've got some other ones. You know, I could have I could have modified one closer. Actually, this brass is pretty hard. It's really hard to bend a brass fuel line. Just let me tell you that on the get-go. If you bend uh, brass fuel lines and have success at it, uh, that's a good thing. But as as I was as I was getting these lines to go on this engine, I'll show you something. I found uh, I was cleaning up some of these nuts and uh, and I was cutting them ferrules off. See, you grind through half of it and take it off. 
we'll put them in the scrap pile. Even one of them had, had a mop. It had that mop string wrapped around that ferrule. You know, that, that, that'll that get your engine running sometimes. You know, you can keep running on a mop string for a little bit. You know, I've done it. It's But it's one of those things when you get home, uh, set on to the repair quickly. But as I was uh, doing that, cleaning up, cleaning up some parts, and one of these uh, has got a crack. This one right here. Uh, there, there's a little crack in there. I think I've mentioned this before. It's got a crack in there. Okay, if you start tightening that up, it just gets bigger, and you will have a gas leak right there. So that goes over in that scrap pile right there. Over there. And also, this one right here is broke completely across. Pretty big gap in it. So it wouldn't work. Scrap metal. And, 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 I, and I cleaned up a couple more, and as I was doing it, here's one I didn't even attempt to clean up. Because it, you, it's got a gap, it's got a crack you can see all the way around. So it's brass, goes in, it's hard, and it goes in the scrap pile. So I ended up, you know, kind of dressing that off with a file so I could actually see the metal uh, on these three right here. This is a new one. They're three eighths copper, is what they are. Copper fed, and you put it down in there and you put a ferrule on it. And, um, but they're not created equal. Oh, Bryce Fittins runs the uh, gamut of the thread size. And this one right here is the big one. If you, when when you put this on a fit on it right there, it's too loose. It wants to fall off. But it's it's close. Okay, here here's here's the smaller one, and it won't go on there. As this in here won't go on there neither. Okay. If you had the fitting, this fitting here that went with that nut, then these right here wouldn't fit on it either. So, uh, neither, one, neither one of these threes will, will fit this one. I'm going to keep it. And uh, another thing, too, when you're dealing with these old parts, mismatching and, and all, the, the, you, you don't want that, bright, that to fit that push down that much more than that ferrule right there. Uh, there is a reason that you don't want that to bottom out, but anyways, uh, it, and and when and I was getting these out, I found three different lengths of three eighths ferrules. See, that's a big long one right there, and it's kind of skinny. That's a that's a that's a three eighths ferrule. If you went to the hardware store, he might give you this. Okay, right here's one. It's really short. It's not as long, and it's to a point on the end. It's three eighths copper. And uh, here's here's his, here's the third specimen, and it's shorter, but it's it's it has a flat place on the side, and it's the length is in between these. There's three different lengths up there. Okay, some some of these old time fittings has different depths down in yonder that you that you caught that your fuel line goes into, so. When all this goes together, you need the right ferrule in there. Is the point? If you had to fit in for this little short one right here, and you use this big long one, then you'd have a lot of threads showing. And if you had this long one right here, and you use this short one in there, then the nut would bottom out before the ferrule tightened up. You know. I'm, I'm just saying, it's really not needed, but it's, you, it's it had, oh, every day, all day long, just one obstacle after another one, that being one of them. Now, earlier today...